Hi folks. About 30 years ago, I came across this book called uh, Organ Building for Amateurs. It was published in 1887, written by Mark Wicks. He uh, knew all about building pipe organs and published this book so that the average home builder could make his own. Interesting thing about him is that he used uh, ordinary flat paper to make his organ pipes. And uh, he simply rolled flat paper around a wooden dowel. He had, you know, several different diameters of wooden dowels. And he would simply wrap them around using standard white household school glue to bind them together. And when he got about seven or eight thicknesses, he would just simply pull it off the dowel and there would be your, your pipe. Of course, you still have to make the, the, the base and you have to assemble the, the, the lip and the ears. The lip and the ears. So here was, uh, I was interested in this because I I thought, wow, that might be a good way to, to make a pipe organ without a tremendous amount of uh, cost involved. So I got some flat paper from the uh, print shop, asked of the foreman if I could have a few sheets. He said, that's fine. I took them home and I made these uh, these seven pipes here, out of paper, which produce a major A chord. I don't know how I ended up with an A chord, but that's what it turned out to be. And uh, I just wanted to see how they would sound, and if it was, it was something that I should try to try to do later on down the road. Here's how they sound. They uh, sound pretty much like a pipe organ. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever do it or not. It would be quite an undertaking to build the, the cabinetry and the keyboard. And you probably have to make about 150 pipes to complete the project. But uh, it's something to think about. Anyway, I was interested to learn that paper makes a fairly decent, good-sounding pipe.